Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. As you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be going through the build list of my Jeep. And so to start, I'm just going to do like how the Jeep sits now and the mods. And then I'm going to do some maintenance stuff and what I've gone through with maintenance. And then I'm going to tell you guys what future plans I have for this Jeep. So if I sound stuffy, it's because I have a little bit of a cold probably has something to do with the seasons changing don't really know but bear with me i hope you guys can stand the talk of my voice so first and foremost i want to start with my favorite mod that i've done to this jeep and that's going to be the axle swap so what we've done is front and rear um in the xj five speeds they come with 307 gear ratios from the factory so what we did was we swapped in 355s out of an automatic jeep now I was told that the rear was locked when we went to go switch or add new fluid to it like we swapped out fluid found out it's welded so my Jeep is sitting on automatic Cherokee axles with 355 gears and a welded rear now on the street it's great it cruises down the highway with no problem I don't have to row through gears to get up a hill I can just cruise in fifth gear most of the time even on the highway and up hills and the welded rear helps out a lot off-road in it and it also makes for fun in the rain i have not driven it in the snow yet with a welded rear and so this upcoming winter is going to be the first time with the mud tires first and foremost and a welded rear so mud tires usually don't do too well in the snow unless it compacts hard and easy kind of like a mud um and a welded rear should be should make for a good time it's not going to ever spin one tire in the snow so if you're wondering what i paid for the axles the axles actually came with a half of a lift attached to them they had the leaf springs there the shocks were there coils were there and control arms actually there was no shocks it was coils springs and control arms attached to the axles so I picked that up for, I think it was around $250 for the whole setup. I actually sold the coils and the leaf springs, but I did not sell the control arms yet. And I also ended up selling the rear axle and then just junked the front axle. Um, and I actually made like $10 off of the deal, but I'm gonna count that, not gonna count what I sold I'm just gonna count what I paid for everything so right now we're sitting at $250 <clears throat> all right so now second up on the list is the lift kit I purchased this lift kit when I was still in high school so I went the cheap way I bought a rough country Adelief lift it was the full four and a half Adelief lift kit which I just looked the price up earlier they're selling for 500 now I don't know if that's what I paid for it three two and a half three years ago but as of now they're selling for five hundred dollars so i think with that kit i mean you get everything you get the adelief you get lift shackles coil shocks blah blah, blah everything you need to lift your jeep um and that's what i got i got the five hundred dollar four and a half inch adelief lift kit and about a year down the road i actually ended up purchasing the rubicon express um leaf springs in the rear so what that is instead of the stock leaves with an add a leaf it's now a three and a half inch full leaf pack with the rough country shackle in the rear so it actually sits like five and a half inches in the rear and then the four and a half inches up front i paid 240 dollars um for the springs off of Amazon so and the lift that is $740 in the lift in total right now now I did not sell the stock springs as they were flat and also had an add a leaf into it I just trashed them they were junk anyways so now we move on to this whole setup right here um, I spent I got this is a um, affordable off-road elite series winch bumper i believe it's the elite series i picked that up at the shop for 325 dollars i went up to where the shop is located and if you pick up from their shop you get a bit of a discount off of the original price of the bumper so that's what i did i went up 
I picked this bumper up for $325 and then ended up going to Harbor Freight and picking up the 12,000 pound winch. With the Harbor Freight coupon, I believe it was $300 for the winch. So like I said, bumper 325, the whole winch setup was 300, 12,000 pound winch from Harbor Freight. So the front bumper setup alone is $625 I've spent. And now for the headlights, I purchased LED headlights about, it was actually when I first bought the Jeep in January or February, I purchased the Jeep in January and then ended up picking the headlights up within the first month. I think I spent $60 on the headlights. It might've been 80, but I'm calling it 60. So the wheels on this Jeep are actually a Pro Comp 252 series, I believe they are. It's a 15 by eight wheel. I actually picked these wheels up off of a Facebook marketplace deal for, I think I paid $200 for them. Um, I think they retail at like 90 ish new so i got a pretty good deal i mean they were used and now since i've used them there's rock rash here and they're starting to like get surface rust to them whatever i, I put these wheels to some abuse at roush creek and at jeep week but the wheels i paid 200 dollars for all four of them i think there's no fifth i will be purchasing a brand new spare very very soon and for the tire setup I am running a Pro Comp Mud Terrain 331250. Um, I got these from Street Speed. Actually, he actually hooked me up. So I got five brand new stickers still on them. Pro Comp tires for, I believe it was $650 for all five of them. So my wheel and tire setup runs me about $850 as of now. And then I will be purchasing the fifth wheel soon that way i have a full-sized spare that i can use if something happens to one of my tires on or off the trail so I'll, my wheel and tire setup i'll end up having around like 900 dollars into or something something around that range so next on the list is the exhaust setup i get asked so many questions in person car shows on youtube instagram facebook whatever I get so many questions about my exhaust setup and what it is it's just it's pretty much a straight pipe stock header downpipe everything about this exhaust is stock except from here back so there is not one cat catalytic converter in this setup and there is just this tiny little muffler i think it's like the equivalent to like a flow master 10 series or something like that so this is like a knockoff muffler it just goes straight out the back um that sounds absolutely amazing it is very loud it gets a little raspy but i personally can deal with it it's not something my girlfriend is a big fan of but i believe um it costed me about 150 dollars to get that fixed and now the last thing on this list for modifications is this snorkel i believe i picked it up for like 60 or 80 dollars but i'll call it 60 for the sake of this video it was the a full setup off of a, another facebook marketplace deal um i did not have a template but thanks to my very intelligent dad he got it hooked up and it looks absolutely amazing people look at this jeep more than people have ever looked at this jeep and i solely believe it's because of the snorkel i get lots of jeep waves now and thumbs up all the time from people it's just a great looking mod let alone it also gets the jeep some fresh air going into the motor all right guys so everything added up for the way the jeep sits now the mods alone is a grand total of two thousand seven hundred and thirty five dollars now i paid seventeen hundred for this jeep and i think taxes and title transfer is probably like 150 so the way the jeep sits now i've got almost four thousand six hundred dollars sunken into this jeep now i did not realize i had that much money into it but i do and that's only with the modifications so so before i forget to mention it my rear tire or rear bumper 
that I'm picking up has a tire carrier attached to it. And I'm also picking that up from affordable off-road. So my front and rear bumpers are gonna match. And I'm pick, gonna be picking that up for, I think, $560, I think the price was on that. I'm actually driving up to the shop yet again to pick it up, you get like $100 off, depending on the product. And then, we are going to need that the fifth wheel so that's a future mod that i'm going to be getting is the fifth wheel so i can have that full setup all around all five set up all around and i do want to get my windows tinted very soon also it's been almost three years and i'm tired of being able to see straight through the jeep i don't know what else more i'm actually going to do to the jeep in the future it's just going to be play it by year pretty much and see just where it goes i don't really ever plan on getting rid of it it has 222 223,000 miles on the motor it has a little bit of a lifter tap but that's normal on these motors so i don't see the motor going out anytime soon so i don't really have any purpose or any reason to sell it i also have never done a clutch in it so one day probably very soon it's going to need a clutch but the clutch seems to be holding well on and off-road now before i forget to mention i do plan on picking up a project car come this winter it's going to be running and driving i don't plan on doing too much with it right away because i'm going to make the jeep a priority i just want this other car because it's rare and it's awesome but i'm finalized on it like i'm 100 buying this car but if you guys want to see anything from the channel let me know in the comment section down below if you are new to the channel hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell so you guys can get notified on when i upload if you enjoyed this video leave a thumbs up and as always guys have a great day have a great week just live your life to the fullest i will see you guys next time peace out